We are blessed in the Diocese of Buffalo to have a throng of wonderful, faith-filled, vibrant teenagers who are very active in the church, in their parishes, in their schools. Right now, we're planning the Youth Convention, which happens every year in the spring. It will be in March, and that is a weekend full of uh, celebrations of faith and prayer and activities for the hundreds of teens who come. The diocese and the parishes offer many very effective resources for the faith formation of our teens, but you know what? Nothing can replace the faith formation, the bringing up in the faith that happens in the household, that happens in home, especially with parents. The fact of the matter is, as one researcher put it, parents are the real pastors. No offense to my brother priests who are the pastors of the parishes, but parents are the real pastors in the sense that the real work of helping our young people to come to know Christ and the gospel and to live as people of the church first happens and happens most powerfully in our homes. Uh, the work of us who are the church's professionals, so to speak, the priests, the religious, the ministers, uh, we can do our work and we want to do our work effectively only to the extent that there's something good happening at home. Although that's not entirely true because great things happen with God's grace, even with young people who haven't had a strong faith experience at home, but homes make the difference. Uh, I would invite you to, to pay attention, uh, if you haven't yet, to some of the work of the professor from Notre Dame University, Christian Smith. He and his colleagues have been celebrating the religious and spiritual lives of American young people for a long time now. And they tell us there's some things that parents just cannot do if they hope to be successful in forming their kids in the faith. First of all, parents themselves cannot fake faith. The young people need it to be very sincere. Number two, parents cannot uh, outsource the, their own parental work to religious professionals. We'll do our part, but we can only build on what happens at home. And so I pray for all of you who are parents, especially of teens, listen to what Christian Smith says. He says, everything we have learned tells us that committed and practicing Catholic emerging adults are people who are well-formed in the Catholic faith and practice as children whose faith became meaningful and practiced as teenagers and whose parents were the primary agents cultivating that lifelong formation. We pray for parents. We thank you for all you do to introduce our young people to the Lord Jesus and his way of life.